Yo, we got a video here today, and we're breaking down some of the differing opinions and advice that they give each other on the dating. But before we get started, smash that subscribe button, hit the like, leave a comment, like the positive comments, dislike the negative comments, post replies to those comments, and let's get right into it. If a man ever says something about like going 50-50, don't date him. If he doesn't pay for the meal, don't ever go on another date with him. Men that are financially stable are happy to pay for a date with you. And men that value women that see you as potential wife material, they're going to pay for your dates because they know the value that you bring. This whole like 50-50. So in America, hypothetically, they're not just trying to make a good impression, right? Get some quote-unquote brownie points by paying for the first date don't be stingy right you don't want to give off stingy uh vibes and hopefully uh maybe you get a little i mean maybe i mean who who, who knows you you might have to miss out on that one men are high out of their mind if they really think we're gonna do that i my husband paid for every single date we went on. I don't think that women can really take men seriously when they don't pay for the dates. How can you really respect a guy that doesn't pay for your meal on a date? We She's putting it right on the table. We're all in the marketplace. We all go to university and try to get scholarships for law degrees and doctorates and we get paid a, a paycheck every week. I think it's illegal not to pay the uh, ladies money. But when it comes to dating, it's time to go back to the old... It's time to be 1950s when it comes to dating. When it comes to Beta. just paying for everything. Women will lose respect for you. This whole 50-50 thing is such a joke. Mind you, I'm an attorney. I believe women can be powerhouses. I believe you can be career-driven. But... But... I really don't believe all of those things. I'll say it. I'll say it out one mouth, but deep down... I love the double standard of getting everything paid by some beta that's willing to do it. But as women, we still want a man that's going to pay for us. Even if you're going to work, you still want a man that is financially stable that will pay for you. So yeah, if any man ever says this, oh, <laughs> please run. Run far from him and block his number. No one might have noticed that there, but those tattoos on her wrist she's just hiding it we know we know what it's like we we know that there was a guy Beta. to just clean up at the end of the uh time frame and then unfortunately even when people do everything right do the nice thing be the nice guy it might not even be appreciated anyway i went on a first date and when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, whoa, like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like... Just programmed to being, like... <laughs> Straight up hood rat. Straight up ran through. <laughs> And when someone puts in the effort, they want to almost sabotage without even realizing. I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? He High five. No, High five. No, 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 no. Now let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my father. Well, she won't really explain, is it? She still hasn't grown up yet. She's still a a child and she wonders why she's been ran through because when someone does do these so called right things, turn off. That's a that's a ick. Follow up text was Y'all, that's my bad. I I just realized I and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want it. And I feel mm. like he technically did everything that we be saying we be wanting. In my mind, instinctively, my first thought was, he corny. But he really did everything that we want. And unfortunately, when you do everything you want, their natural response is disgust. 
Imagine that. That's quite the uh, rational, logical creature. And then after you've done everything right, you might realize that you need to somehow dominate them, whether that's uh, mentally or otherwise. So same for you, Anita. You think it's some some past I believe issues. that deep inside of every woman's DNA, she wants to be owned. She wants to be owned by the man that she is with. Absolutely. And let me clear that up. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to understand. Yeah, she <laughs> wants to. So it's like, uh, this is how I explained it to a client of mine. So if there was a feral cat in the alleyway beside your building. It's interesting the analogy would use a cat because sometimes this game is a game of cat and mouse, a, a game of push and pull, hot and cold. It can't always be the same or else then it's, that's um, boring. I mean, they can see right through it. And every now and again, you went out and you fed it or you gave it milk and you pet it. Um, that's one thing. You know, that cat is out there on its own and it's just fending for itself. It's another thing if you go out there and you take that cat in and you bring it into your home and you clean it and you, you know, treat it for fleas and it knows it has a security that, you know what, I am owned by this person. I am no longer... That is actually interesting because sometimes you might have to treat some of these cats for fleas because who knows what they got. Feral. There are a lot of feral women out here. Mm. Feral women. Wow. They are not properly contained or owned by a man. And and they're using maybe some subjective words, but I, I, I mean, this could be too, is like trained, um, schooled maybe because they, they used to go to certain schools to teach feminine behavior feminine attributes now you couldn't do that now they actually teach the opposite they teach the whole you're the boss slay queen you can do no wrong you can never be criticized they have no idea what that even is you know it's it's like i said in a reel that i created where i said we can no longer say that man is mine i belong to him that's seen as misogynist. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, that but when you get married, people, do they even understand what the idea of Mr. and Mrs. is to go from Miss to M They just don't know. I, they do it for a, like a multitude of reasons and they don't even know the origin. That's what I believe every woman wants. They want to be someone's. They want to be owned. They want to be picked. They want to be chosen. They don't want to miss out on the uh, sports team. And then if anyone was watching on social media, they were talking about a bear versus a guy, which would you pick? But let's get right into the nitty gritty. This is the question of do you pick someone from the army from a job or do you pick someone in prison? What do they say? More toxic, a guy in prison or a guy in the army? Oh, a guy in the army. For a guy sure. in the 100%. army. 100%. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, because in prison, at least they find, like, religious. They find relationships and they get married in prison. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the branch, though. What branch is it? Army. All of them. Army? Yeah. Army's I'd, definitely very I'd toxic. I'd rather have a prison man. I would rather a man in prison, too. Yeah. Or recently out. Is there, I think maybe Navy. I think, I think a Navy man. Or Air say. Force. Nope, dated one of those. They cheated on me. Yeah, they seem like they, they have too much access to air. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, like you can get in a plane and fly yeah. away from me. <laughs> this is just crazy, right? Like recently out of prison. That's a interesting... The fact that that's even an option, the, the, the fact that that's even a thought is kind of crazy, but it's it's legit. No, no you like can that. leave me too easily. If you're able to jump on a plane and leave my apartment, no. It's more toxic. I'm sorry for that one, guys. I felt like I actually lost some brain cells. But even though this one is probably just as bad as the last, it's, it's interesting the reason why they don't want to act feminine is that you don't deserve it. Regardless of what you do, you don't deserve it unless you're probably part of the 1%, maybe. Always be saying they want a traditional woman, like, oh, can you cook? Can you do it? You not Shut a traditional up. man. Thank you. Be How a traditional man. Is you even a breadwinner, boo? Sit down. Have you built a house? Have you built a <laughs> house, baby? Y'all want traditional women, y'all not traditional men. Period. <clears throat> they don't deserve a traditional no, woman. No, you don't. You don't, boo. You should be submissive to me, actually. Yeah. 
She said it. <laughs> and that really is the whole flip side is that ultimately you've got to be. Beta. you got to play that side of the coin, that side of the game. Are you up for it? You tell me below. But anyway, gents, we're going to leave it right there. As always, thoughts, comments, but low. And hit that like on the way out. It takes 1.5 seconds and smash that subscribe button right now. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.